Morning everybody, and it is a horrendously cold, minus 31. It's got to be about minus 40 with the wind chill, or it was, the wind's kind of died off. I did manage to get the semi going this morning. Took a little bit of a boost. It seems like the batteries that are in there are probably cheap and they just don't work that well below minus 20, minus 25 for sure. A little bit of boost from this girl and she got, she woke up. Now the other problem we have is I cannot get this grain auger to run. So yeah, I'm Battery's right charged. I, I start or I had the charger on it yesterday. I tried to put a magnetic oil pan heater on it somewhere, but it's an aluminum cast block. So it's not magnetic. So I'm gonna try a quick fix with the little torch. I got some map gas in here that burns really hot. And we'll just try and give it some heat for a minute or two. And if that doesn't work, we have a 1500 watt heater that I'll find a way to prop up there and I'll wrap a tarp around it and we'll walk away for a couple hours. Quick reminder, like, subscribe, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, even TikTok, and Twitter. I'm not super active on all my social media. I kind of just mix it up wherever I see fit. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for following. So the plan today was to haul two loads of wheat up to Mooseman and then two tomorrow. Today's Wednesday, so it's not critical. We can, uh, if we can get this guy going today, so I didn't get back until about 7.30 last night. Wasn't gonna try moving the auger or anything because it was minus 29 or something like that when I pulled into the yard. And so I just said, oh, we'll deal with it in the morning. If I get two loads today, two loads tomorrow, great. Even if it takes me, even if I can't get on the road until say, I don't know, two o'clock, even three, I can still get one load in today, come back and fill. And then that'll set me up for three loads tomorrow. Tomorrow's not supposed to be as cold. Depending on how I might just leave the semi run overnight. We'll see. But here's what the plan. Woo. So the plan for today was to be far bin where the sprayer tires are propped up against. I forgot to move those tires last week. That was a dumb move, but it's okay. We can we can come at it from the angle with the auger and still, it's a 51 foot auger, there's lots of room there. I had hoped on firing that thing up. I didn't, didn't even try to be honest. There's an, this little drift of snow is kind of in the way, but it's small enough. I might just tramp it up with the, the semi so I need to haul four loads of wheat by Friday. Friday's actually supposed to be pretty nice. <laughs> I say nice, it's like minus 17 or 12 or some shit like that. But, so this bin is where we put the seed wheat that we cleaned last week. This is full of just regular wheat. As is this bin. This one's full of peas, that one's good half full of durham anyhow this one or this one need to be empty for me to clean this bin of durham next week and then put the clean stuff into there or the other one but this bin is actually like 300 bushel or 400 bushel smaller than that west store so we're gonna try that one and then Hopefully we don't have all that much left over. I haven't really done the math. So just did the math. We have 4,410 bushel contracted, 120 ton. 
and I'm pretty sure we get about 42 to 4300 bushel in one of these and I think we get about 4500 in one of those so I want to make sure that we got this empty and if I have to I'll take a little bit out of the bottom of that rather than having a full bin there and a dribble in the bottom so that's the plan The real kicker is can we get that guy running? And I can't find my freaking toque. Maybe it's in the semi. Ah, she wouldn't go, so we put that little heater on and tarped her up. Gotta find a couple things to weigh it down a little bit, but we'll give it an hour. It's tucked right up against the engine. I think I think it'll be close to going. I think it's actually almost going right now problem is that because of that rain we had on saturday all of the throttle and choke linkages are iced up so we need to get some serious heat going on it we'll see what happens in the next hour well it was an absolute battle but we got things going right now it's minus 27 I had that heater on for hour, maybe an hour and a half tops. And that old girl started like it was a 25 degree summer day, 25 Celsius. So now to get loaded up, we'll go take a load. We'll get loaded back up and we'll hammer out three tomorrow. That should empty that bin. Might take a little bit out of that just to top off the contract. Oh, winter. Winter is expert mode. Well, I got back from the last load and I had to, my wiper jets, my wash jets on that were all plugged up. So I spent like 45 minutes piddling around with that, making sure it wasn't my little pump then I don't know how well you can see this maybe go to the other side this guy was just froze right up again this is the auger so I wrapped it up it's been on for about an hour and a half let's see if she starts we actually don't have a light on this one but the yard light should help out enough we should put a yard light up on this side though. So, turn our disconnect on. Ooh, that couldn't move before. You probably can't see, that was the choke. Oh yeah. Come on. Well. I guess I'll have to do that in the morning before I leave. And to keep this guy warm because it's a balmy minus 28 and my fingers are freezing holding the camera I'm just going to let it run overnight to hell with it I got to get three loads in tomorrow I want to be there for 8am right when they open yeah well the utility lights ain't doing much it's a bit better She needs a bath real bad, but I sure ain't washing this at minus 30. She won't unthaw for months. Thing that is occasionally neat at minus 30 is just dead calm. That's the semi at low idle. But it's so cold. Yeah. It is brutal. If anybody has ever not experienced minus 30 or below, consider yourselves lucky. 
but at the same time you really should just to appreciate how brutal it can be to work in think of everything you take for granted i know even places in the southern states vehicles don't come with block heaters every one of ours has a block heater the semi has a webasto our new grain truck has a webasto those are coolant heaters i installed one in a video so you can turn them on overnight your brakes get froze up your your starter barely turns over this thing actually won't uh, at minus 30 it struggles i think i have batteries that aren't that great i think i mentioned that before you got to pay attention to where you park things anything with an engine doesn't get far away from a electrical outlet and usually pointed in a direction where easy battery access so that you can boost it morning folks it's 6 30 it's minus 30 ish outside it was minus 34 in my truck when i was driving out here this usually shows a couple degrees warmer when it's sitting idling once i get going down the road it'll probably drop a few degrees i don't know if you can see out there but i've got the auger wrapped up and the heater on it i got a full load on from last night left the truck idling overnight just did my checks did my book it is viciously go here turn this guy on did my little book viciously cold outside no wind at all nice little moon going interestingly enough that light over my mirror that's mercury so I don't know how this video or this part of the video is going to show up because this is my Android. This is what I normally use to film. Like I just carry it around in my pockets and if I have the GoPros with me and I can set them up, I will. But it's minus 30. The GoPros, if I set them up outside, is a matter of about four minutes and they'll shut off because they'll be too cold. So I normally use this guy. I just carry it in my pocket. Unfortunately, and I, I like filming with this one because I don't have a, a data plan with it. And two, I think the camera's a little better and definitely the stabilization's better. But my, it was in my pocket yesterday and it froze to the point where it shut off when I was loading at eight o'clock last night. And now the touch screen's not working. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out how to reset that. So if this one's a little grainy or shaky, that's why. I wanna try and be at Mooseman for eight o'clock, which is right when they open. So I can hopefully get three loads in today. Which is why I plugged that in already. Well, and it's minus 30. So it should take off like nothing. I'm a little concerned about what to do between loads. I might have to find a piece of lumber or something to prop over the exhaust pipe so the tarp doesn't melt to it. But that's a problem for later. So let's hit the road. about five minutes late but I don't see anybody at the probe so that's good the only reason I'm late is there's a detour in Mooseman it looked like they might have had a water main break or something they had a hole on the road and I had to go around uh, be a four or five block detour but at four mile an hour so that's p &H Mooseman we've sold a lot of grain here in the past so I think I sold 10,000 bushel this year up here. Not sure how much, I don't think dad really had any aside from what I'm hauling right now. I might be the first one here today. The door's not open and it's five after eight. So 
hopefully they get moving soon. And hopefully they didn't break down between when I was here yesterday at 3.20ish or so when I left. And now, but a lot of things break at minus 30. Ah, uh, yeah.